Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC and today we are showing you the Scout Traverse Jacket from Troy Designs. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. Today we're showing you the Scout Traverse Jacket from Troy Designs. I'm gonna say it right now, I really like this jacket. I think they did a lot of things good with this. If I were shopping for a good off-road jacket, this one would be high up on my radar. It's comfortable, I like the fit, it's built well, and there's a lot more functionality too. So we're gonna go through and talk about everything that you're getting with it and help you decide if this should be your next jacket. Now, sizing reference. Daniel here who's wearing it, about six feet, one inches tall, 190 pounds, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size medium. So it does have more of an athletic fit to it, but you can see Daniel does have enough space underneath this that he could wear a chest protector underneath if he did want to. Now for me, I'm five foot seven, about 175 pounds, 43 inch chest. I actually feel like this is too big for me. And personally, I would probably step down to a size small. So you can use Daniel and I as a reference. But remember, this isn't a apparel item, which means if you get this, if you're not happy with how it fits, you can send it back in brand new unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. You could exchange it for the same jacket in a different size or a completely different one. And again, we just do that to make sure you get the size and the fit that you are happiest with. Now, where the Scout is really good is one, the construction. So it's a ripstop stretch fabric. So you've got good durability there, but again, it's got, a, it's got stretch to it. So, you know, if Daniel were again wearing something underneath this, got plenty of room to move around there. But here's the functionality aspect. You've got three pockets on this jacket. You've got one up here at the top. That's his chest pocket. You've got two more hand warmer pockets that are down here at the bottom that are very large. So you're able to carry your cell phone, other items with you while you're riding. Now also too, what's nice is that the inside of this is fleece lined, so it's very comfortable when you have this jacket on. Also something that Daniel and I talked about when he put this on and I tried it on is how lightweight the jacket feels for what you're getting. So another aspect that we did like. So you've got those pockets. Now here in the front, if I can get the zipper here, you have a really large vent that goes right in there. You know, in warm weather conditions, what I like this jacket for is, not only cold weather riding, but a lot of times it can be cold in the morning, but then it gets warm in the afternoon. So that's where you're gonna need some venting. So you've got this big massive vent right here to get airflow coming in, but also the sleeves zip off. And there's a pocket we're about to show you in the back that you can store those sleeves. So you can just zip those off and just wear it as a vest if the temperatures start to rise, or maybe it's cool, but not cold enough that you would want the sleeves and you just want that vest to help block the wind from your body. I have a jacket that the sleeves zip off of and I'm gonna tell you right now, when I first had mine, I didn't think I would use that feature all that much, but I actually end up using it a lot. So I like the zip off sleeves. The collar up here at the top is fleece line as well, so it's not gonna chafe. It also does come up nice and high to help block, keep out some of that cool wind. And you do have a patch of reflectivity. You've also, Danny showed him the elbow real quick, you got reflectivity on the elbow. You also have some on the back, which we'll show you here in just a moment. Deanna, turn and face the back for me. So with the back of this, again, it's all that same ripstop stretch fabric. And that pocket that I mentioned is actually over here on the right side. So you open that up, it comes all the way across the bottom of the back. That's going to allow those sleeves to fit in there. Also, what's nice too is that for taller riders like Daniel, who wear a size medium, they give you plenty of length in the back as well, so it's not going to ride up on you. So you can see the reflectivity we talked about on the elbow, and then you have some more right here on that zipper pocket in the back. All right, Daniel, turn to face the front one more time. Last thing we'll touch on is just with the cuff. So you just got some Velcro down here to adjust those to cinch those up if you do need to. And then just to show you, We'll open that up. On the inside again, like I said, fleece lines are very comfortable. There are not going to be any internal pockets, but you do have this cinch cord down here at the bottom. So if you want to, you could snug up the bottom of that just a little bit. It does have a DWR coating on there, so it will help to shed water, but keep in mind, it is not going to be waterproof. Last thing that I like about this jacket is just, look, it's built for off-road riding, but I'm not gonna lie, you could wear this out in public and people probably just think you have a stylish jacket on. So it doubles as just a casual jacket, but also great for riding. So if that's something that you're in the market for, this would be a really good option. Keep in mind, Daniel is wearing the Scout gear from Truly Designs, which is their off-road gear. We also have a video on that, so be sure to check that out. But if you have questions or comments, we'd love to get those answered. So make sure to leave those below in the comment section. And to grab your Scout jacket today, or excuse me, Traverse jacket, click on the link, or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com, orders over $75 ship free. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, get subscribed to Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, because we are the number one place to go to to see product reviews like you saw today. I'm Chase, 
We'll see you on the trails.